Well, as you can see, it just started downpouring here, but let's show you what's behind me. This is a massive fire that actually picked up uh, just a little while ago. You can see the flames here and just all of the billowing smoke coming from this apartment building. We did get an update not too long ago from Miami Fire and police. Here's what we know. There are multiple patients who were taken out of this apartment building. A lot of them, most of them elderly patients uh, who were immobile and had to have assistance getting out. They were actually rescued from their balconies. We have over 40 units from Miami Fire on scene battling this blaze. The blaze so severe that they have now pulled all the firefighters out of this building and they are attacking it from the outside. You can see that there are firefighters above on the ground on all sides of this uh, very large apartment building. We are near Northwest River Northwest North River Drive, that is, and Northwest 3rd Street here in Miami. Here's what else we uh, also know, according to Miami police. While they responded to this fire, they did find an adult male with a gunshot wound inside of this building. Right now, they believe the fire started possibly on the third floor of this building. It's unclear right now if that person was found on the third floor or elsewhere in the building, but that person is in critical condition. He was taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital where he is being treated. I did ask police if they were looking for a suspect. Right now, they don't have that information because they don't know if this gunshot wound was self-inflicted or, in fact, uh, if there was some uh, other incident, uh, someone else involved that may have shot this person. So they are still investigating that. A lot of this information is preliminary but coming back here to this scene you can see just how massive it is there are multiple road closures in the area even i-95 uh, which is just on the other side of this building essentially there are backups there just because there are so many uh, units that are still responding to this scene we also saw american red cross of course they are on scene there are a lot of people who are going to be displaced uh, because of this fire there wasn't an exact number of patients uh, i did ask that question they are still trying to determine which of the patients who were rescued were, were transported to the hospital, which were treated on scene. I also should tell you that there were two firefighters, at least two firefighters, who have been treated for heat exhaustion at this point. They are uh, going to be okay, according to City of Miami Fire Rescue. But nonetheless, this fire is not over. There is still a lot more to do. As I said, within the past few minutes, we saw flames uh, started, uh, they started billowing from the building again. So this is just getting underway. This call came in at 8.15 this morning and continues right now. We, of course, are going to stay on the scene and update you when we can. We do expect another update from both police and fire uh, in the next few hours or so.